Hey YouTube, this is Sun Jupiter here, here bringing you another video, uh, but this video is on the uh, iPhone uh, OS 4.0. Yes, I got my hands on it um, two days ago, so I've been playing around with it. So I'm here to show you just a couple features, and this is all legit, this is not uh, jailbroken or any of that nonsense. So, first thing as you can see, you see me have a, a Ferrari logo on as my background. So I'll show you how to uh, change that there. So you just go to settings, settings, and then just go to wallpaper. And then here, as you can see, I've set it to my home there, home page. So just go into wallpaper, pick a pick whatever wallpaper you want to pick, and hit set. And then you can set it for both. Uh, your home or your lock screen so I'm not gonna set it cuz yeah I'm just showing you how so we'll just cancel that out and go back to the home page then the next thing I'm gonna show you is multitasking so I think I have a couple programs let's run a couple programs uh, let's open up IGN uh, let's open up YouTube okay so now all you gotta do um, if you're open if you have a lot of programs open all you have to do is just double tap the home button and then it'll lift the, the main screen up a little bit as you can see there and then now you can see that I have some uh, programs here open up so if I wanted to go to YouTube I'll just click YouTube and then yeah that's my videos right there so if I wanted to switch to something else I'll just double click on it uh, and go to say settings and then it does a little cool little uh, transition there and then now I'm back to uh, the wallpaper and the settings so I can uh, double click again and to close the programs which is always good because it does slow your phone down um, all you have to do is tap and hold and then it'll have a, a delete button but you don't delete it you just close it and then you can do that for all just close Close. Yeah, so that's pretty much how you close programs when you're multitasking. All right, so the next thing I'm going to show you is the email. So let's jump into my email, and I have two accounts hooked up here. So I got two accounts there. So you can go to uh, um, all one inbox like there. So all the emails from um, both emails will be in this one inbox here. As you can see, I got a couple of YouTube. Uh, messages here too as well there and then you can either go into one account where it has the individual inbox and you can click on that like so so let's go back to the home page uh, so the next thing I'm going to talk about is camera so there's some new features in this now so now you can just tap on the screen here and now you can zoom I just uh, I think five times zoom so you can just drag the zoom uh, it's kind of too bright there for the camera but yeah as you can see it's zooming in and out in and out and then yeah then you can either set up the recording if you want and let's get out of there all right so we're gonna go into settings here I'm gonna go back to the home page here and then we're gonna go into general and we're gonna go into location services so now you can put location turn on local location services on your camera too as well so when you take a picture it knows where you took the picture right there all right then we're gonna go into about this iPhone and as you see here, it is running the OS 4.0 right there. Let's go back out. And the next thing I'm going to talk about is folders. So this is new. So if you have tons of and tons and tons of applications, uh, you can always just drag, uh, click and hold, and drag it on to say another program here. And then now you can fit about nine programs into this and they call it lifestyle so it'll name it 
whatever it needs to name it. But that's how you do it. You just click and hold and then drag it on top of another application and then boom, you have a, a new folder. Oh, man, it's messing up. Give me a break. There we go. Alright, so we'll stop that one. And then we're going to go back into general uh, our settings here and then we're going to go into we're going to go to home button which is in general and then home button and then search results and now with spotlight you can edit this to have it search say just your music if you're searching music and the only thing you you would search for is your music so you can have it do that and then even your messages your calendar mail notes things like that with us all right so let's see here there's one more program on here which is the uh, game center so this is like sort of what everybody's calling it like Xbox Live I'm already signed in there um, haven't bought any games or anything like that I won't be doing that until the uh, the update is a final update so I'm not even gonna bother with that um, so my first impressions of, of of the firmware and this is just beta 2 by the way guys I might add I, I like it a lot I like it a lot because I could be watching a YouTube video and I'm like, okay, I have to go do something. So I'll start, I'll start a video right now and show you what I mean. So I'll just put up, uh, I just play uh, unboxing or a review of the snowball for you guys. Okay, so that's playing. So I can go. Oh, I have to go do something else and start doing that. And then I can just uh, double tap the home button and go to YouTube, and there it is, right? And now you can watch YouTube videos in any mode landscape or just vertically yeah so and it works fine and you can always go back to see a different program if you wanted to and that's it so yeah that's uh, just a, a little quick walkthrough of some of the settings on the uh, new uh, beta beta 2 of the iPhone OS 4.0 so this has been Sun Jupiter uh, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. So uh, like this video and comment, and I'll have some discussions and things like that. Um, I'll reply if uh, you guys want me to reply to something. I'll reply to it. All right. So this has been Sun Jupiter, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.